Okay. All right, this is the potter's wheel. And the, what I'm doing is called throwing. The term throwing comes from the fact that you literally throw the ball of clay on the potter's wheel. The object is to get the ball of clay directly in the center of the wheel. Because if you don't get the clay centered, then you can't have a uniform piece. Centering, although it appears to be simple, it's actually the most difficult part of the operation to learn, but it's, but it's most essential. After you get the piece centered, then you determine the thickness of the bottom of the piece. making sure that you allow enough clay at the bottom. Then you start to bring up the walls of the piece and you continue to bring up the walls of the piece until you get it to a uniform thickness. Each potter has its own style of holding his or her hands. I'm going to throw a vase for you. So after I had the piece to the uniform thickness, and I start the final shaping, In order to get the, the piece to come out, it's the outside hand pushing out, and then you reverse, and it's the inside, outside hand pushing in to close it in. Take out the excess water from the bottom. I like to round the top edges of my pieces because this is often the part that gets nipped or broken. I just use the wooden tool to take off the excess clay and enhance the line of the piece. And that's your pot. Voila. <laughs> wow. You made it look so easy. Ah, uh, lots of years of experience. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome.